Alright, this morning I'm replacing the radiator in this van. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple things that I did that made it easier for me. Um, that bar I just moved, it was replaced with a brand new one right here. But as you can see, the old one has this rubber guard, the dust shield kind of thing on it and this new one does not have that so to use that you would have to replace these little things right here or try to get them to rework into the new deal well i didn't know all this when i started taking the radiator out but i came to the conclusion that instead of using the new one i'll just take and put the old one back in place and since the new one come with bolts instead of screws because the old one came with these six point stars here so i'll just do that i'll replace these put these screws back in and now the top will be done now another question i had i'm not going to show it because it's just i know i already know they work so and I figure if you're watching videos, you're smart enough to at least uh, have an idea of what to do or how to do it. But what I did was, I wasn't sure if my fans was working. I have dually fans. <clears throat> and there's two pieces in there that, uh, the, my understanding is there's two things in there that makes the fans run. Because you got to have this computer right here. And I believe down in there is the sensor. That controls, that sends a signal to the computer, which forwards a signal to this relay right here. Um, and this relay is 50 bucks, and I'll go ahead and get one and I'll replace it. Uh, and then if the fans don't run, then I know it's my thermostat, and I know I've got to replace it. But I can't get to it, I can't get a socket to fit that, that sensor, so I'll just have to pay a mechanic to do it. <laughs> but what I needed to test this connection right here was down in this hole is your your connection right in here. It's your two leads. What I did is I found an old cord. Uh, if you're a pack rat like me and you find stuff and you say, someday I might need that and people just look at you. Well, here's your victory, sir. What I did is I took this old cord, which is like a, a, a power plug. I took and put two nails in it, cut the nails off, and you stick it in there where you can get connection to it. Because you're only looking for a temporary connection. You just want that fan to turn. That's all you want to do. Once you get it in there, you take the other two in, the other end, and very gracefully. Because it's DC, you don't matter by priority. You very gracefully use these to make a connection to your battery. If, if the fan even moves, it works. That's all you need to know. You need to know, does the fan turn when I apply electricity? You apply electricity, fan turns, you know it works. That's all you need to know. So, anyway, that's, your, that's a small victory for us pack rats. Um... It's a real simple little device. It's, it's not complicated. I'm sure you can find a, 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 a way to buy this thing and spend a lot of money, but you don't have to do that. Now, how do you cut the nail off? Well, what you do is you take the nail. Uh, again, I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through the process of doing it. But you take the nail and use these kind of pliers. Hit that, put that nail in there. You sit this like this. Sit that, uh, sit those pliers like this. The nail in there that you're trying to cut off. And with it on a solid surface like the ground, you hit the pliers until it cuts. Because right here, in this pinch point, is a cutter. It's not much, but it is a cutter. So. Got a pair of pliers similar to these, which is just a simple pair of slip pliers. Uh, uh, it's not the big kind; it has a big slot. It's just a like a two position. But anyway, there's a little cutter right there. 
get them nails to fit in that plug in tightly and cut them off so that's uh there you go that's what we do now i just gotta put it back together and i do not use these spring clamps i replace them with screw clamps so i gotta go make a run to the store and get them so anyway that's the gist of the operation uh there's other videos about fixing taking the radiator out there's a really really good one about it and uh, i'll get the link in my description box peace guys